Hello, my name is Jemmy, and today I'm going to be giving you lesson three of Python and Go. So, um, this lesson will be kind of short. Uh, it's about functions and how are we going to create functions. So first off, let's start with the most basic function. This is a string function, which is, um, as you know, a string function, which means that it has a function that prints out a string or does anything related to a string. So in this case, we're going to um, make a function called spam. And um, it's not the canned food spam, but instead it's a code to spam this text. Pikachu is the best Pokemon in the game, which is clearly not true. Actually, let's make it a little bit more um, dumb. Magikarp is the best Pokemon in the game. And let's see this. Um, what is this code? So here is our function. And in order to, uh, how do you call it, test out our function, we're going to um, right here, spam. And spam and then parentheses. And then if you just type that, then you will get the text. Magikarp is the best Pokemon in the game. So if we were to do something like so, and boop, boop, like so, now we are actually spammed with Magikarp is the best Pokemon in the game. Great. And from my last video, um, pairing Python with line, communicating between Python and line, mostly Python to line, but yeah. Basically, if you connect Python and line together, you can send messages from Python into line. So if you were to use this code with that one, then you could spam a lot of things in your line text. So yeah, that's our first code, um, spam. Starting off with a great start. Okay, now let's move on to our second piece of code. This one is, um, Pretend you have a Pokemon and then you, you're going to evolve it, okay? Let's say that when you evolve a Pokemon, it's all of its stats um, basically multiply by 2. So if you evolve a Pokemon, if your stat was 2, I mean, if your like, HP was 2, then it's going to be 4. In our case right now, we're going to evolve a Pokemon. Um, let's say the HP has 785, I guess. And then we're going to times to this. Um, let's see how it works. So our function is called evolution. And then in the parentheses, we have x, which is a variable. And then um, we, we're going to end it with a colon. And inside the colon, we're going to put print x times 2, which is a variable. And we can set the variable later, times 2. And then for evolution right here, instead of only printing out evolution parentheses, in here, we're going to fill out 785, which is x. x equals to 785. And then now, since x equals to 785, it will do run this code. Print 785 times 2. Let's see how much it will go to. 157. 0. 100. 1570. And that's how much it will equal. And that is for evolution. For next one, I want to be more creative i would say and um this is so that uh it's not i don't think it's in game in pokemon but i made it so that it is i guess <laughs> so basically if you have three of the same pokemon then you can morph them together and then you can get one powerful pokemon so like um you have three of the same pokemon all the stats will add together and then it will create one powerful one so um, here we have it, define morph, which is our function, A, B, and C, three variables. And then instead of printing it out, we're going to do return. Return A plus B plus C. And we're going to set another variable called result. Result equals to morph one, two, three. So the, um, the first Pokemon will have an HP of one. The second will have an HP of two. And the third one will have HP of three. And then we're going to add them up all together and then we're going to print out the results. Let's see what it gets. Six, as, as suspected. And then if we do something like so, it will make it more complicated. Okay, I'm going to read that correctly. I'm going to try to. 
440,128. I know, I am smart. And um, so that is the code for this one. Now let's move on to the next one. So this one is our last code and it's going to be combining, um, how do you call it? Combining uh, names or strings, I could say. So we're gonna set ABC the same thing and then we're gonna do return A plus quotation marks inside a space. So a space inside a quotation mark plus B plus space in a quotation mark plus C. It might look complicated, but it's not. It's just, <coughs> sorry. It's just adding up some strings. So now we're gonna set username equals to combined name, Jemmy, comma, the, comma, trainer. And now our program will match them all, all together and put spaces in between each word. Jemmy the trainer. Now I'm gonna show you one very cool trick. Pretend we don't want Jemmy the trainer. Pretend we only want Jem the trainer. So here we can set um, in like brackets and um, we're going to count by letters. Each letter in a string start from zero. So G would be zero, E would be one, M would be two. So we're going to do all the way to two, which is M. So now it can only be Jem. And A is Jemmy, by the way. M the trainer. I am sorry, I forgot. We need to do zero and then two, two, there we go. And now it will get, uh, sorry, two, three. We need to get one more. There we go. Now it's Jem the trainer instead of um, Jemmy. So yeah, you could slice out a bit and then put it inside um, your text. So yeah, that's it for this lesson. See you in the next one. Bye.